Hello, English teachers. Are you ready to power up your English class? Here are some tips for practicing WH questions and answers in your English class. English teachers need to use different forms of questions for various purposes. And we also need to teach our students how to form and use questions. WH questions are so useful for communication. So practicing how to ask who, what, when, where, which, why, and how is a great start. And one of the fun and clever ways to utilize the WH questions is by using an information gap activity. An information gap activity is an activity where learners are missing some information they need to complete a task. So there is a need to talk with someone else to fill in the gap and finish the task. Have you ever used an information gap activity in your teaching? If so, you may already know how useful it is in a communicative classroom. But if not, here is an example of how to use information gap activities to encourage students to make questions and answers in English. Step one, provide a context. Explain to your students that they are going to use WH questions to ask and find out missing information about a girl who went on a trip. You can say, you're going to create and use WH questions, who, what, when, where, which, why, and how to find out about Lena and her recent trip. Let's think about what you want to ask Lena. Step two, help students prepare questions for the activity. If students are novice language learners, you may help develop questions with the whole class prior to beginning this activity. So let's try this out together. You can be my students preparing for this activity. Class, let's brainstorm. Think about what kind of questions you can create to ask Lena about her trip and write them in your notebook. I'll give you 15 seconds. Ready? Let's get to it. Welcome back. So, what questions did you come up with? Let me share some of my examples with you. These are also useful types of questions that you and your students might use when giving directions, having a conversation, and doing activities. Where did Lena go? Who did she go with? How did she go? When did she arrive there? Where does she stay? Which hotel does she stay? Why does she stay there? How long does she stay? What does she eat? What does she drink? What does she do? What does she send? What does she buy? Which places does she go sightseeing? Where or what does she visit? What does she see? What was the weather like? What were the people like? There are lots of questions using what, right? Actually, the list could go on and on. Step three. Give out a handout or note cards with information needed to answer the questions. After the class writes down some questions, students are given information on a note card about Lena's trip. Each note card has a few pieces of information that may provide answers 
to the questions that the students created in step two. For example, each note card can have information like this. Note card one has Paris, warm, sunny. Note card two, train, coffee, paintings. Note card three, museums, postcards, three friends. You can definitely mix up the information and include other information on many different note cards. At this point, you can say, on the note card you received, there is some information about Lena's trip. It will include answers to all of your questions since each note card has just pieces of information. First, read the information on your note card. Then, write the answers for the questions that you have information about. For example, Sasha, what do you have on your note card? And Sasha may answer, I have Paris, warm, and sunny. Then you can respond by saying, can you answer some of the questions? Be sure to use complete sentences. And the student may answer, she went to Paris and the weather was warm and sunny. And you can say, great. Now, I will give you five minutes Find the answers for as many questions as you can. Please write your answers in your notebook using complete sentences. Step four, review the questions and answers as a whole group. After a set amount of time spent on giving and receiving answers from one another, students can come back as a whole group and review the questions and answers aloud. Beginner language learners can practice speaking in the simple past tense in this activity using the WH questions. I encourage you to try adapting this information gap activity for many different purposes in your language class. This is just one of many ways of doing this activity. Be creative when you apply this in your class. Thanks for watching and learning. Now, let's go do it!